I know John's fantasy. What, Ross? Let me sleep. A big tub of ice cream. <laughs> I haven't slept that badly in such a long time. I went outside initially and then I had these really hot sweats. So I was really hot outside in the balcony and then just like sweating. And then, oh, what's this? What are you doing? Uh, and, uh, and this is today, I'm just gonna, did that get in your face? It's like nice and then, it's like we're going away today, I'm exhausted and I think I'm coming with a cold now because of last night. But Daniel's actually doing everything. Are you doing everything? <laughs> he's ignoring me, he's really pissed off on me because I keep telling him what to do. I'm like, do it that way, do it this way. Because I just believe he's completely incapable of doing anything. Because we're going away for 11, 12 days and we don't want to leave the birds without the food. So I'm going to make a bird feeder or dispenser, bird food dispenser, just like a DIY one. Let's see how it goes on. So that's perfect. Right? So when they eat that, more will come down. And that's perfect. <laughs> So my next DIY idea is to keep up the fish tank topped up with water. I'm just gonna open this up and let it run. And then when it fills up until the rim, it will stop because the, the level will close the water tap. We're going to Ross's for a few days before we get the caravan and take it back to Worthing. And he says, yeah, no. I says, um, did you pack me any clothes? Like pants or socks? No. So in this huge suitcase, what he's got, nothing for me. What does that say about him? He just asked me for a beer. He said, where are the beers? He's not having a beer while I'm driving. He's going to keep me company. So the thing for the, for the phone is broken. And look at this. Look at the dirt on this car. So when we get to the caravan, it's disgusting. That's all. I hate him sometimes. I hate him. <laughs> John hasn't been driving for a long, long time and today he's going to drive for three and a half hours and he is shitting himself. It's because I'm not used to driving, look, you see you guys in the States will probably think there's there's nothing to that. But remember, to get from one side of this country off from the bottom to the top, we're talking eight hours max, something like that. So three hours is a long time. Yeah. Especially for a stress ball. We're on the motorway heading to Denver. Hope it smells like my bum in ever. You know, Daniel said, can I, can I sleep? Can uh, I sleep? And no, he can't sleep. And then he just took his shoes off <laughs> and they stink. They absolutely stink. And he said, it's not me, it's not me. Of course it's him. It's his feet. It's the shoes. There you go, it's the shoes. I haven't worn the, the shoes, shoes. Yeah, for but months. shoes don't just smell because they want to smell. Why do you have to slag me off every I'm time? I'm not just saying because I'm here now. And they, they were down there and I looked at it, I was like, it smelled like somebody opened a packet of salt and vinegar crisps. I did not in purpose to wake him up. Look, he he's so walking. And then he put them behind the back of my head. head so now I keep getting this whiff. Of salt and vinegar, it's quite it's nice. No whiff, it's a whiff. Well, what? Well, thank you for your right, right, right. Thank you for going to my English studio. I am sure he hasn't forgot, but I say that Ross has got a tendency of um, something just cropped up and this happened, and I was expecting a phone call, but I confirmed that we're going down to this place a few days ago. Said on Thursday when I finished work at four o'clock, which I did. So I hopefully he's there, but he's not picking up the phone. He's not answering my text. He's not FaceTime. So it is a bit concerning. Look how cute he is. Having a little Albanian wee at the side of the road. <laughs> he answered the phone. Well, because we were literally <laughs> we're slagging we off. Kind of said, okay, we'll get two, we'll check if Ali's open. 
10 o'clock it closes and then um, she's in. She's in. And as I thought, because I even said on camera, I said, he's probably forgot. He's probably <laughs> doing something. <laughs> <laughs> so predictable, but at least we had a plan anyway. I thought that was weird, I thought. Why is Daniel coming as well? It's weird. <laughs> So I don't think we've quite missed it. How nice to be next to the beach as well. How beautiful. It's got a kind of sink in. We've just come out to Devon because this is the start of our holiday and this is Daniel's real holiday. As I say, he's not going to Albania. And, oh, this is gonna be great. So I'm gonna have to learn to relax. We have no money. <laughs> Nothing, but I do have some credit cards and, oh, anyway, look, I'm gonna think about it. If we do need something important, I'll ask me that. <laughs> oh, John, change the scenery. Are you camping? Seems like we've got a blow up bed. Oh, I need, um, acid i've just been drinking a bit of whiskey you have nothing no you got water up here yeah yeah because the, these stairs look at the stairs look at the stairs look how shallow they are and be, oh, it's, i have to climb down those to go to get, climb that kind of speed for sorry i'm sorry to climb down those to go for a wee it's like a berlin oh, oh. right okay i'm gonna go to bed i will see you in the morning good night Look at where she sits and look at the size of those flippers. Your feet are huge. Why are your feet so big? Why is your belly? It's not, it's tiny. <laughs> I'm actually getting slimmer. I'm not, that's a complete lie. Look at how grey this room is. It's very grey. I like it. I've been up and I started working. My personality is not grey, it is bubbly multicoloured. <laughs> Daniel slept bad last night. He had um, a drink, and then he had a whiskey, and then he had something else. He's a very little alcoholic. So he's laid upstairs on this plastic bed, which apparently he found comfortable to start with, and now he finds it uncomfortable. Bed that <coughs> mm. So I'm gonna, Don, Daniel well, Ross said, leave me in bed for a little bit, but we do need to go out and do something. I'm getting a bit of a cold. I might have to get some drugs. I wake up in the morning, it's like I had really bad sleep last night. And wake up and the bottle is full of apple juice. It was empty last night. John, I found your apple juice upstairs. Here you go. Thanks, Ross. Do you want some apple juice? John, can you drink some? Sure. I dare you. Give me a second, I'm just gonna get a glass. Do you know what, I'm full. I'm like up here. Not down there, no. I'm going out. Like, Ross thinks I brought Corona beers. into the Do you house. Any beers? Oh, Daniel, up. don't take beers with us. Come on. I'm not. You are. You're drinking them. You're I in the see them, Daniel. You're taking beers. That is such an Albanian thing to do. Albanian? Yeah. Mm. I don't know anything. Come on, let's go. ALM. <laughs> is that your face mask for us? God, I never realised you were so good looking. I know, I know. Everything looks so wrinkly. This is a beautiful, lovely ride in the cold weather. Sure, it's actually really kind of chilly. Well, I lift my jaw now and I'm next to you. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, because I don't have a jaw like yours. Yeah. I can't believe how nice your jaw is, Ross. 17,000 pounds. Shush, nobody needs to know that. 18,000. Yeah, well, that had nothing before. Now look sat next to John, I realise. Look at that. <laughs> These two are always yapping like an old couple. I swear to God, I've never seen friends that argue so much ever. This is called the Obelisk and it's situated in Orkham Point. And it's to celebrate the Cretaceous at the top bit. <laughs> Then the Jurassic, and then the Jurassic right at the bottom bit. That's what I understand. And it's a big needle. It's a big old pyramid on a hill. We are on the Jurassic Coast. That's something which I do know. And we've been we've been here quite a lot, but we've never been on this like up the cliff kind of thing. 
Oh look, sweet peas. Daniel just ran halfway through the beach to get a fiver. Love off in the wind. Congratulations, baby. Hey, I can't believe that I, I, I lost my fiver. I was chasing it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your ass. Filming your ass. Russ said there was this documentary, a horrible documentary, which is disgusting about these gay men getting abused in Chechnya, and they were actually getting raped by the straight men. But the weird thing is, the irony of that is, that's quite a turn on for some gay men and oh, some straight. It's true. How dare you? This Russ, is not Russ has been talking about it for the past two days, <laughs> saying it was horrible, but he got turned on. It's like. Who? You! You're such a liar! When is the next flight to the right. Chechenia? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fantasy. I know John's fantasy. What is my fantasy? Being fucked when you are doing the computer work. Oh my god, how boring. Why would I want that? I'd have that a thousand times. <laughs> I know John's fantasy. What, Ross? Having a, sleep. A big tub of ice cream. <laughs> Daniel was complaining that he was fat and actually Ross is a professional trainer. We need an audience. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure <laughs> that they... <laughs> keep your top on. Yeah, oh, I'll keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we did a really, really good workout with Ross and I cannot move and my body is actually shaking. And on top of this, John has gone sleeping. Ross is like playing with himself somewhere in the house and I'm gonna have to cook fresh sea bass which I've cut it in little slices there so I can marinate it with olive oil lemon, rock salt, cracked pepper and olive oil, that's it The sauce is gonna be a tomato sauce based with, it's gonna be a puttanesca so it's gonna have anchovies, garlic, chili it's gonna be really nice and spicy. Okay, that's looking good. Sauce is ready. And the vegetables. Come on, babes, we're hungry. We're not fucking about just waiting for you to cook so we can eat. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? All that time? Is that it? That's what happened when you cook. You cut the head off. <laughs> it looks, looks amazing. It's like more sausage sandwiches, and this time we've got it on a panini. Is it a panini? What is this? It's not a chip out, is it? What is that? Bread. It's definitely bread. And bread, all that bread I ate yesterday, it just destroyed my so insides. Why are you eating bread? Because it's cheap. Because usually I wouldn't have bread, but like we oh. have to now. What? With the liar. Because you're always on because you're such a dieter, John. Well I was, but now I'm not. That's what happens. You drink and sperm all over your face. I can't believe that Daniel's actually going to work today, meaning that the friend of Ross's who needs somebody to work, he's gonna go and spend the whole day just to help her out because she's obviously short. So it's gonna be an experience. And then Ross and I will just walk off and do our own thing and have fun without the Albanian. They got rid of me. <laughs> Big to go. Big. Albanian. Talk about Big the conversations stuff. we have in his car. We're actually talk he was just talking about Daniel going over to Albania because now he doesn't have to start working until the end of July. That means that he could, in effect, in theory, go over to Albania. And then Ross we'll starts talking about Men's genitalia. We're talking about some big cock and a girl. I weren't. I don't even think about those kind of Who things, said Ross. That? You said about it, didn't you? Ross. Yeah. We are. We are alike in our minds. We just think filthy. Daniel's day at work is working in the Lord Nelson, and then out here, that's where he's going to be running food to and from. Have a nice day. He sent one me to work. Gonna earn some money. <laughs> I, I accepted to help Rachel on her opening day 
and uh, this is the setup and uh, we the people are gonna keep away from each other it's gonna be all table service and she has loads of bookings so it's gonna be a fun day and so I'm cutting short on my holidays just to help so let's see how it goes. I will enjoy this. That's your chicken uh, burger, yeah. Mexican style chicken burger. That's your falafel burger. That's your beef burger. That's your seafood uh, bowl. Um, and on the pulled pork wrap, because I kind of forgot, and you all know what pulled pork tastes like, but yeah. you'll get a taste of it at some What's point this? during that the Mexican day. Mexican chicken, I'm That's Mexican in. chicken burger. So obviously it's a little bit cold now. It has really started in the great days, like the great way, and then everybody's going to be fun and they're gonna get drunk and then all right so this is different from any other thing that we've done it's different from anything I've done we have to clean our hands all the time we have sanitizers everywhere so it's fantastic and there is the band two pieces now we're waiting for more people to come and this lovely lady hi kids hi kids <laughs> I'm on YouTube aren't I cool Bye. <laughs> there we go. thank you sir the music is starting now and it's getting a bit busier, it's really good. So yeah, I enjoy but I'm sweaty. <laughs> Kids out. You ruined it, Rach. Ah. Rocket, sit. Good boy. Good boy, Rocket. I'm literally exhausted. It was like busy and it's far away from like the food and the bar, you know. The chef is great though. Oh. <laughs> But, you know, it's like, it's just hard to work like this. It's just, I would rather stay home than open a pub in this way, you know? As everybody should do in their life is, <laughs> you have to go and find yourself a mini washing machine. So we just found one on the spot, and this is because when we get to the caravan place, <gasps> oh, it's really expensive to wash your clothes. It's like four pound for a lot of washing. Anyway, these washing machines, which we just found, or should I say, Ross has found, are usually about a hundred pounds. Tenner. But but it costs us about 30 quid to get here because it's out in the middle of nowhere. It was like deja vu. We were here, well, I think it was like two years ago with Ross, looking around camper vans and car vans. Because now Ross's amazing van, which I haven't showed you yet, it is stunning. Oh, I don't know, but let's just have a look anyway. Um, anyway, yeah, so now he's got the wrong one, so he wants to have a look, see if he can find another one. I love that, it is working perfectly. So you attach that bit to the end of the sink, you put the water in here, you've got a little timer on the top, and it just like dissolve the washing. And then when you've done, You've got this outlet pipe, which you basically drop down into the sink, and then it's done, it's cleaned your, washed your methamphetamine, your dog, your pants, your hair, whatever you want to go in it, really. Ross is not exactly the type of homosexual who enjoys cooking, and also he's wasting away. Look how slim he is. So I'm making a carbonara, and it's almost done, so I think I just have to wait like five minutes. Oh, sh I am wasting away. There's nothing to me. <laughs> I'm just waiting for um, five minutes for this pasta to be done. And then Daniel said, add the cream or the carbonara, which you've got carbonara sauce, which is um, interesting. I just use a bit creamy. Anyway, so yeah, and then um, done. Oh! Did it if you if you've been following my vlog from last year you probably remember that if you go and visit Ross you can't sit down for five minutes because he's got ants in his pants and he's gonna go out and he's gonna do something so right now we've jumped inside his t5 camper van and look how beautiful it is look at the kitchen there and look how crap his bed is and we've just like thrown it oh, down like do and it's covered it up. Yeah, yeah, well, he says that, but it's got, um, you know, the rock and roll, um, cream leather. Um, no, they don't know, John. How what? would they know? People don't, I don't even fucking know about it. They know. Everybody knows this. Okay. They I do. Know. You know, don't you? No. Yeah? No. <laughs> so we're going to go now. He's put that bed down because we're going to have to get some stuff for his house because the builders should be here tomorrow. Yeah. 
done. Yeah. And how was it? Okay, very, very stressful. Was it? Why? Yeah. How come? It was busy. Oh, how oh, was it? Well, a very hard work, working day, you know. And it was very nice. I enjoyed it. But now I just want to be having a shower, put my feet up. Shower, very nice. Fuck you, <laughs> <boss>. <laughs> Anyway, we're the end of shower this week. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they yeah, they can't hear what Bros is saying because it's been fucking nasty. It's what happened with people that have no jaw. No what? Jawline. <laughs> All right. I need to go for a wee. Billy Super Dupe. Go for a Pilates. <laughs> Ross and Daniel downstairs. Oh, I'm so tired. And Ross has got the builders coming tomorrow morning and I've got to get up and do your vlog. Because it just has to be done. And because Ross has got 4G here, I'm thinking, I better get it done as quick as possible and then get it loaded because I'm loaded in 4K. So that means that it's going to take a day to upload. No joke, I think it's going to take that long. If we do it now, I can get it done before I get to the caravan, which will be good, so that I don't have to worry about uploading it there. Mind you, the 4G might be quicker in Worthing. Who knows? I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Morning, Daniel. Morning. Morning, Daniel. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm in pain everywhere. Why? Because I did exercise with Russ, and my arms are hurting. Hi, Jack. I had to work yesterday for the first time in four months. Don't some apple juice. No, thanks. It's disgusting. Thank you. It's no egg this morning. I just told you there's no eggs. It's not gonna fucking make an egg for you. <laughs> oh, that's not looking at you. Right. <laughs> the egg. <laughs> Where's the egg? I haven't been Wait. able to import all the footage to do the vlog for two days, so I've been really stressed. I've got problems with two customers' websites, and I've also got another issue. Oh, anyway. So I'm on all of that, and I'm still feeling stressed. I just need to get these little jobs out of the way. I say little. It's taking me hours, and I just want to go to the beach, go out and do stuff. So I think what I might have to do is stay here, do your vlog, and then send Daniel and Ross out, otherwise they're just going to be waiting for me all day. But there's builders here, so they'll keep me company. Daniel, and one's really cute. We are going to meet this guy from Grindr, actually. <laughs> so we're going to go to the lakes now, and Ross is the guide. So hopefully it's a nice place, because I don't trust him. Really don't trust him. I'm talking. I've been here before. <laughs> Daniel hasn't. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear John is so annoying even with my phone he has to grab it off my hands he has to grab it off my hands and then take take videos for me because I'm not I'm not good at footage. You don't do all interesting shots. It's like it's nothing is interesting all for you him. Do is talk, to the camera. I am, but you don't let him speak. bedroom so I can go to sleep. But those two are talking downstairs and Ross will not let you sleep if he's up so I'm gonna try. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to sleep with those they might wake me up. John. What did I fucking tell you? I knew he wouldn't let me sleep. What are you oh it's you I thought it was Ross. Why are you sleeping now? Because I just got tired laid in bed and went like, I said, Ross is going to come upstairs you, and wake you, me up. You send me, look, you need to do the washing. 
I said I put the washing in there already. No, you haven't. I did. So what's the dirty clothing all around here? I didn't know that. I told you. <sighs> Antisocial. I've, I've just put Antisocial. all the I just put all the coloured washing in the washing machine, and I thought I did. You finished all the apple juice. <laughs> I did. There might be some more in the morning. That is disgusting. <laughs> morning, chef. God, it's so annoying. Um, We've got an omelette. Give that for an omelette. Oh right, big omelette. It's burnt. It's not burnt. <laughs> That's really nice, Master Chef. <laughs> I bet you're gonna have one slice and you're gonna get full. That looks heavy. It is heavy. Oh. Yeah, that'd be the marmite. <laughs> We're waiting for Ross to come back. He's, um, last night when I came down the stairs, I. Oh, he's got this plug socket and it's half up and down the stairs, straight for the Hoovers, but he left it plugged in. So I woke up in the middle of the night hungry, came down, hit the wire and ripped the plug out of the socket, smashing the back box anyway. So he's gone to do a few errands, bring a back box, have to repair that. And then we've got to go and get the caravan. Daniel's in the other room, wherever he is. He's trying to get on the phone to get a refund for his, for his Albania trip, whether he can even get through, that's another thing. So we're just waiting to set off now. Everything's packed. Bye, Rossi. Bye. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing. <laughs> Smash the garter bits. Oh, right now we're going to get the caravan, but we've got to put some air in the tires. We can't forget. Oh, Jack! Jack! Oh, I can't. What? 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 He's lying. <laughs> Asphalt? <laughs> He's a dickhead. Well, we are on the road again. We are going to pick up the caravan and we're going back to Worthing. And I am very excited because Ross was doing my head in. <laughs> no, he was very nice actually. Yeah, what do you think, John? What do you think, Whoa. Are you excited? I'm not excited about pulling the caravan, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, he gets really, really, well, really we've stressed. Gotta, we've got to put air in the tires of the caravan and make sure that yeah. Get I don't deal with this kind of stuff. I just chill and enjoy the ride. So this is the, the storage place where we kept the caravan during the winter. And now it's time to take it away and put it somewhere with grass. I swear, this guy is, is, is a oh, nightmare really when you get stressed because he's pulling the caravan. And he forgot that washing machine. End of the world. He has to work by hand. Now, did you want to know John's real personality is when he drives so stressed so this is what I have to deal with every day no, come every on. day I, just, I have I to deal with like, this and we've gone down these really small lanes as well which I'm not happy about oh god it's going to, it's going to tell us to go up here so I'm so my jaws like aching I know this must be the, the the longest oh, seven no. minutes hey, of what, your do you life. Want, do you, you want, want to drive? Yes, yes. As soon as we go on yeah. the motorway, I'll drive. I think he forgot how to drive, actually. No, it's just because I'm scared of somebody coming up really fast. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, my favorite castle Ooh. in the world. Uh, Arundel. I don't know if they can... There you go. We're gonna get married at Arundel Castle one day. Isn't that right, John? No. Did you hear that? He won't marry me Never while marry he's me. in the camera and he's begging me off the camera. And he's, like, he's bought like 13, 14 rings and then always said no. Whatever, Daniel. I have bought you one ring. He's so, such a liar. Who, oh. do, who do you believe? Arundel. We just passed our window. Oh, that's the train station. Yeah, I know. Well, we are just arriving at the caravan site. It's like another 300 meters away. 
but I John did a very good job. Even though he started really shaky, I tell you. Did it, John? She's like he has no shoes. <laughs> He's such a classic. Hello, How are you? This guy can't do anything without me. There she comes. There she comes. I'm really upset now. Because when I was trying to park the caravan, you see that peg just there, that pink peg. So I was asking Daniel to kind of like, like direct me in when I was driving forward, not even reversing. He was like miles away from that, listen to this. So I called him an idiot. And he got really upset. I then made a song about it. I'm going to sing it with his face. Daniel. I've got this new song. Are you ready? Daniel is an idiot. Daniel is an idiot. Daniel is an idiot. I'm going to punch you. Daniel is an idiot. Daniel is an idiot. Daniel Daniel is an idiot. The chorus is the best. Are you ready? Daniel is an idiot. Daniel is an idiot. Where's the other brush? Give me kids. No. No! I love you. Come on, we have to make up really quickly. Let's clean the caravan and then. No, he'd be better. I know what he wants. He wants to clean the caravan, have some drinks, and then I'll be alright. And you know, I'm alright. It's just very stressful. You know, it is. But he's worth it. He's a cheeky mofo. I don't want to do anything, I want to relax, I'm on holiday, I shouldn't have to do anything. But he's built in, these things which are broken. It's always the same, but you know, I love it because all these little bits, what you fix, you feel like you've made an achievement. And it's not like having to um, replace skirting boards or orca drive, things like that, um, which Ross has to do at the moment. So it's just like cleaning and fixing a little bit of plastic here and there, so I don't mind. You laugh it with yourself. I'm snorting. I'm trying to get the, trying to fix it, but you're in there doing nothing. Where? Inside the caravan, doing nothing. I'm doing nothing? No, nothing at all. <laughs> Tell everybody that I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Daniel, I've made food, come on. I've made um, a chicken curry. We just had chicken, what was defrosting. There was a like a jar of this curry paste or sauce, which was in the cupboard, which must have been there for like five years, but obviously it's all right. Well, I hope so. And she's outside. What's she doing? What are you doing? Who is she? You, come on in. My baby, Jane. Oh, baby. Do you need love? I don't need any love from you, thank you. Daniel. So what do you need? Nothing. Come on. Let's move. No sense of humor. Only when you want to have a sense of humor. Why don't you treat me like you treat Rose? Like, if you, why, how do you think I treat Rose? Like a friend. <laughs> because you're not my friend. But I'm your friend. Well, you're my, my partner. I was but supposed I... to boss you around. That's all my idea. <laughs> what was that? Which kind of planet do you live on? This is my planet, Planet John. <laughs> this is West Worthing Little Town Centre and there are so many charity shops, which is good for Daniel and they're open, so obviously it's inside right. looking for some stuff. Yeah. Show me. Three large ones. How much? Three ninety nine. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's alright. I really want the um So I think he's been in like three charity shops now. And I don't know what it's got, but I know that he's got a nice shirt. Oh my God. A pound. I don't care. It's a pound bag. He's got too many bags. This is what I hate about it. She's going for an ice cream and she's saying, I'm too fat, I need to lose some weight. Daniel, doesn't work. You want to lose some weight before you go back to work. You can't be eating ice cream, you fat bitch. Why did you get it so big? Because I like it big. What's it taste like? Like a milky. Oh. Haha. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Daniel, don't some apple juice. It's disgusting. <laughs> I can't, I can't I'm even buy it. it. I can't even look at it. I'm going to buy it. There you go, in the trolley. Daniel has this cream, I should have said. He's found the cheapest cream available and it's an Aldi, but what the job it does is amazing. It gets rid of all the rosacea, all the redness. I, I, I get excited it's because... They stole the one. <laughs> God. It's empty. It's empty. So, we just, so he's going to get... How many are you going to get? All of them. Oh my God. You see, because he has trouble finding them. Come on, give the ball. Daniel, you're doing great things. Did you? Stop it, why are you throwing the ball at me? John stole this mask from Ross. He didn't steal anything, he, Ross left it in his car. He saw that he didn't want to get known by the guys who were shagging in the local woods. So what he does, he's like, he wears the mask, and he goes and then bends over and wait for the guys to speak to him in any any language. <laughs> and then... In any language. <laughs> in any language, sexual ways. <laughs> and then he takes his mask and he shows his beautiful teeth. I have a mini golf set, which I'm going to set the app and I'm going to play while John is going to go to sleep. <laughs> So the ball is going to come here, it's going to go through here, and then it's going to go through here, it's going to go here, and then it's going to find one of these third holes, one, two, or this one, <laughs> this one here. So whichever hole you want, you win. <laughs> chilly this evening and we have the awning outside on so it feels a bit warmer but last night was really cold so we had to do it and we had a really nice day today we went shopping and we went to the sea and we were playing mini golf which broke in the end and now John is going to bed and I'm gonna watch my Netflix like usual and um, that's it just Jack is going like a bitch from one one room to the other it's like she doesn't know who to choose <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go to bed and um yeah see you in the morning good night morning i've missed this you know our beautiful little electric walk here and look you guys know about this walk you've seen this before but it is amazing on the caravan and camping sites you have to pay for your gas but you don't have to pay for electricity but this is the most efficient way of cooking so everything gets cooked in here so i'm going to do a nice bacon and mushroom and eggs for Daniel and myself sandwich there you go Albania too much how'd you bread. sleep what do you mean too much bread I slept really good I had a lovely sleep Easy. and I'm gonna go back to it <laughs> enjoy the sandwich mm. <laughs> a horrible weather I wish that the weather would have been a bit better <laughs> because it's raining and it's cold. It's, it is nearly mid-July to tell you the truth and it's going to be over soon. So I don't know, this year is like hitting me hard with this weather. Can I get a bargain? <laughs> oh, you know, old habits die hard, so that's what I can say. There are some really nice front gardens around this area where I'm going. Um, I think that uh, they are holiday homes this one because they're quite small, but the, the front gardens are really, really cute. It's after an hour looking around. I managed to get some plates for the caravan 
because ours are plastic and there's no need for them. So we just uh, got some porcelain one for like five pounds for the whole set. And got some t-shirts, like large ones, because the medium ones don't fit us anymore because we're so fat. <laughs> like berry time. Oh, hello bike lady. I can't believe you didn't even call me or just I ask did. how I was feeling. I did, I called you. Curry things. I've been walking, walking for miles and miles. You, you've been walking. I bet you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I knew it. What you got, show us. The main thing is yeah. this. No, what you got for me. Oh, you got some plates. I called you. Play. All right, so you have four of these, four yeah. of these, and four big ones. Oh, that's brilliant. Three pound fifty. Oh my God, you're joking. No. That is brilliant. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, you have a set. Three pound fifty for the set. The whole thing. Oh, wow. And nothing else for you, John, sorry. No. I got your cheese slice. Oh, that'll do. Thank you very much. I got lots of shorts and t-shirts. Of course you did. Oh, what's wrong with them? And worn. These are all one pan dishes and it takes such a long time in the slow cooker bar. I'll put it on a high with some olive oil and actually margarine. I don't really do margarine with lots of different herbs and spices. And I'm gonna let, because well, when the temperature starts getting up, then these onions will slowly cook. Then I'm gonna chop the chicken into little squares, um, add that, water and then potatoes yes carbohydrates i know i know exactly what you're thinking john you're a fat fuck stop eating carbohydrates actually that's what i'm thinking you know this slow cooker it's really doing what it says on the tin it's really slow but i've thrown the chicken in now i mean the onions aren't cooked I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to pre-cook them. You can brown them if you want. You can brown the chicken, but there's really no need for it. Anyway, that's not that's not the most important thing. What just happened? Mario lives in Worthing, where the caravan is now, and Daniel's speaking to him on Grinder. I've got to show one question: What's Daniel speaking to Mario for? And Mario, what are you speaking to Daniel for? Yes. If I, I'm going to walk out in the middle of the night, I'm going to find these two having sex in the bushes where we take, what, the dogs? Done, all done. So, look, potatoes in there, the chicken's in there, all the herbs and spices, put some chicken stock in there, so the potatoes should really taste beautiful. The only thing we don't have is pepper, and I've never cooked without pepper, but it's got so many different herbs and spices, it's going to be amazing. Daniel! Yeah, Daniel! <laughs> That's what... That's what Mario is. I don't get, can't believe this is guy. Why is Daniel on Grinder talking to Mario? Mario is a YouTube follower on him. He actually says some really nice things, some nice comments, and I always comment back to him. And now he's sticking up for Daniel because I'm the one, I'm the drama queen who always moans about Daniel. But there's a reason I moan about Daniel. Why? <laughs> it's because I wanna, and he deserves it. Daniel! Daniel! Baby, baby, hello, baby, hello, baby. You're my baby, not the Albanian. If I wanted an Albanian, I'd have gone to Albania to get one. Not that old stray. When's the food ready? When's the food ready? And like the food's ready now, and he, because he's laid down, he doesn't want any. But it's fine, Daniel. I'll have it all. Oh, no, well, there's so much of it. I just put some rice in it, so it's um. A little bit more thick. We do like a food standoff with Jack because every time I eat, she wants to, to have what I'm having and she will stare at me until she gets what she wants. And I think most of the time she does actually win because I give up. All right, then, here you go. Why are you wearing a jumping pants? Because I'm cold. It's actually not that cold. I'm cold. Oh, oh okay. He's been sleeping all day. Got a, got a message from a friend of ours in Brighton, Sharon, and she said that she's there tomorrow, so we might pop down. 
Not quite sure what we're going to do. I just hope it's a nice day tomorrow. Oh, hello, John. Are you going to come to sleep? She's just right there, dude. Between my legs. <laughs> what? She's always between my legs. Why are you saying that she's between your legs? It's the end of the week. We're going to we're gonna get John a new puppy. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> I'd are. like one, but it's, too, it's far too early yet. Yeah. Thank you so much for sitting through this video. It's been nice to get away and I'm happy that we managed to take you along on the journey with us. And we will see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Be there. <laughs> Goodbye.